Hi everybody, it's Sunday again. Super Sunday, football going on. Starting to get dark earlier. Uh, we've got another episode up for you tonight, but you guys know what time it is. Is it time for dinner with Dave? It is time for dinner with Dave. So I'm really excited tonight. Um, we are having an amazing meal. Last weekend, we decided to have a date night and go out to dinner, and it was really, really good. But honestly, with everything going on in the world right now, um, I just prefer his cooking and eating at home. So I'm going to let him tell you about what we are having tonight. Got something great for you tonight, just a little surf and turf, but with a little twist, it'll be a little special. It's going to have do it a little different way than you've probably done it before. Trust me. It will be great. Let me go over what we got for you and we'll get this thing started. You know it's gonna be fancy and you know preparation is his thing, so. Okay guys, let me show you what I got for you. We're gonna start with some filet medallions. Um, the only thing that's on those is we got a little bit of uh, Worcestershire sauce, some pepper, that's all you need. We're gonna have some petite lobster tails. Um, we do have a little bit of rub on those and just pepper with some lemon juice. You don't got to go crazy. Um, we'll be starting out with some shrimp cocktails, of course. A little homemade radish or horseradish sauce. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and we're going to have a little bit of asparagus with some mushroom medley. A little bit of, of a shredded crab garnish. Now, if you wonder what these two pans are for, here's the little twist we're going to do. It makes it great. You're just going to have to trust me on this one. This pan... You've got unsalted butter, has to be unsalted. Uh, you've got some fresh cut parsley, cayenne pepper. Just put as much cayenne pepper as you can stand. You don't want it too hot. Cut an onion or a lemon in half, squeeze the juice in, put the lemon in the pan, okay? Now, this is what we're gonna use when our lobster tails start cooking a little bit. This is what we're gonna use to baste our lobster tails with. It will be great. I know it looks a little overkill, but trust me, it changes the flavor completely. Other pan. We've got some minced garlic, do the cloves, don't do the fake stuff, a uh, little bit of butter, some pepper, that's all you need in there. What we're gonna do with the fillets is when the fillets are done, they're gonna be about mid-rare. We're gonna put the fillets and sear them in this pan. We're gonna do all this on the grill, show you that in just a minute. Um, trust me, everything's gonna come out great. It's gonna be a great meal, it's gonna be a great looking meal, it's gonna taste even better. Be better than what you get any place you go, guaranteed. So we're gonna take this to the grill, we're gonna cook the whole meal on the grill, and I can show you how everything's done. So what did you say about the gas? Our gas is running low, we might have to put some more on. <laughs> Here's where we're at so far. Third lobster tails on. These are petite and they're small. Probably gonna take about three minutes and then we'll start basting them. Baste them for mm, about a minute and a half. Let them cook, we'll do it again for a minute and a half. At the most, they'll be done. Here's what it looks like, what I was showing you. Ones with the lemons, that's for the lobster. Ones without the lemons, that's for the steak. Okay, so here's where we're at so far. We're getting ready to throw the fillets on right now. So you said that they're petite and small? Oh yeah. You know what else is petite and small? I have no idea. Me. Ah, there you go. But dynamite comes in small packages. That's what I hear. <laughs> fillets are on, remember mid-rare because we're gonna finish them off in the garlic butter, okay? So, we're gonna get these going. As soon as these get going, we're gonna put them on in the garlic butter. Then we're gonna throw on our mushrooms and our asparagus, because it only takes a second, because you still want those firm. And we'll be right back. And it smells heavenly. Okay, guys, here's what we ended up with. Seared filet, garlic butter, a little bit of garnish, some crab meat. We got some lobster tails, of course, seared the way I showed you. A little bit of vegetable medley there. Got some condiments, got a little bit of uh, shrimp cocktail there. It's gonna be great. Easy to make at home, not a big deal. Made it all outside on the grill, on a charbroil grill, which is of course the grill of choice. Nothing better than charbroil. So make it next week, next weekend, whenever you choose. Have a good time, enjoy your meal, and we're getting ready to enjoy ours. Thanks guys. Say hi Maddie, say hi Carl. You're not getting any.